Brexiteer Rupert Lowe has lambasted former Italian football boss Adriano Galliani for his advocacy of excluding British teams via a Brexit in football, and the former Southampton FC chairman also drew compassions between the deceit, he claimed was inherent in both the EU and the concept of a European Super League. Former Brexit Party MEP Mr Lowe also said the idea of a League of the Continent's top clubs was flawed, arguing it is the regional rivalries, not games with teams from other countries, which fire the imagination of UK football fans. The plans for a breakaway European Super League made headlines in April 2021, with so-called Big Six of English football, Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, signing up for the idea, along with AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Such was the backlash that all but the two Spanish giants and Juventus pulled out within days, leaving the proposal dead in the water. Mr Galliani made his remarks in an interview with Italian sports magazine Tuttersport, when asked whether the idea could be the solution to a period of English football dominance, he replied, yes, but without the English. There should also be a Brexit in football. The current CEO of Italian top-flight club Monza further claimed a competition without English clubs would be a true European championship. Mr Lowe told Express.co.uk, my view is quite simple. It's a pity that it's coming from an Italian because I think on the whole Italy is the biggest loser from Brexit now. Her economy has been destroyed by the euro and eventually she will have to make an exit if Shush is going to protect the domestic economy. That's the first thing to say. The second thing to say is that a bit like with the European Union, it's ironic that they were attempting to building the European Super League on deceit. That's what the European Union was built on, instead of telling the electorates of Europe, including Britain, of what that post-war plan was, for all roads leading to, if you like, a sort of global Europe. 